Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With the name of Allah, who is very kind and merciful. Welcome to the DevOps King channel. In this channel, you will find the solution of different tasks in Azure DevOps. After completing the number of lecture on this channel, you will be eligible to earn $150 per hour on the upward. The coming lecture is very important from the skill point of view. In this channel, you will find the training for the Azure and AWS as well. In order to search the channel on the YouTube, please use this URL at the rate DevOps King. You will find the DevOps King channel. Please subscribe the button so that you can get the notification about the latest upload on the channel. In this channel, the different services are available like the easy content, free technical discussion, video prepared by cert certified engineer and step by step explanation. So, in this lecture of Lemon about the Azure DevOps, we are discussing the CICD for the Microservices Architecture Application in .NET Part 1. So, in this channel, you will find the training about the Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, Azure Web CICD available. So, in the lecture 11 about the Azure DevOps CICD for Microsoft Architecture application, first of all, I shall discuss the what is the Microsoft Architecture. This is the type of application in which we separate the different section in the form of module covering in the API. So the all the different section are loosely coupled in this design. So in the diagram, you will find the detail about the application like our front end is in the React.js and after that from the front end, the user connect with the user send the request on the from the web on the gateway after that the gateway select the api according to the demand like user make may use admin api member api config api and authorization api gateway will send the request on the different api according to the design development of the application and each api is inserting the record in the ms sql database so in this case for the next one i shall start the cicd for the react js the react js code is shown in the azure repo you can also find the react js code on the github in the react js the main folder is source folder and other one file is the package.json so the when you click on the pipeline section and after that you click on the use the classical editor. There are two options to design the CICD. You can also choose the YAML file as well, this one, or you can choose the use the classical editor as well. So in my case, I am using the classical editor to complete the CICD. When you click on the classical editor, you will find this interface. In this interface, you will select the git. After that, you will select the repository. And after selecting the branch, you will click on the continue button. When you click on the continue button, in the next interface, you will find this interface. When you click on the empty job, you will find the next interface, this one. In this interface, we shall provide the different parameter to our CI section. Like in the agent pool, you will select the Azure pipeline agent pool. Agent pool is a section in which our code will be built. And the next one is the agent specification. Agent specification in this case is Windows 2019. Agent specification is a software offered by Microsoft to build the code. You will find the different agent type like the Linux agent type, Windows agent type, Mac agent type, all the agent are 
available on the Azure DevOps and you will select it according to your requirement. So in my part two of the CICD, I shall complete the CICD for the React.js and after that we shall deploy it on the Azure Web App. Thank you for watching the solution prepared by certified DevOps engineer. Wish you good luck for your career.